Are you thinking about making a move to Valpo and you're curious about our schools? You've heard they're good, but what do we mean by that? And which ones are the best? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down the different school corporations, where they're located and how they rank. And if you do not have school age kids, don't turn me off just yet. You'll wanna stick around to the end when I share why this matters for everyone and not just those with young kids at home. If we haven't met yet, I'm Anna Kenny, your Valparaiso realtor and expert on this awesome community. First things first, Valparaiso actually has five different school corporations with a Valpo address. So when you're searching for a new home online, you'll wanna pay attention to what school district it falls into. The awesome news is that all five of them are awesome. In Indiana, we rank schools A through F, just like a typical grading system. All five of these schools are rated A by the state, and additionally, they all meet the federal guidelines as well. You can't go wrong with any of them. That being said, they do all individually offer something different and unique. This is mostly due to their size, which varies pretty greatly. In terms of size as it compares to sports, the Indiana High School Athletic Association, or IHSAA, ranks not only the individual school, but also the individual sport 1A through 6A, with 6A being the biggest athletic conferences and 1A being the smallest. Let's start at the smallest schools and work our way to the largest. First up, we have Morgan Township and Washington Township, which are both part of the East Porter County School Corporation, along with Coutts, which is a town south of Valpo. The name of the corporation gives away the location, and these are both on the east and southeast side of Valpo. These are our smallest schools in town, each having about 60 kids per class or 240 kids in the total high school. As you can imagine, teacher to student ratio is pretty low, offering a somewhat private school experience for public school prices, free. In terms of athletics, they are both pretty much 1A across the board. Next up, we have Boone Grove, located on the south side of Valpo, and Wheeler on the west side of town. Both of these schools are similar in size and in teacher-to-student ratio. They both have around 125 to 150 students per grade, or about 500 to 600 students in the total high school. Boone Grove is a 2A for sports, and Wheeler is a 2 or 3, depending on the specific sport. Finally, we get to the biggest school corporation, Valparaiso School Corp. Each individual grade has a little more than 500 kids in it, or just over 2,000 kids in the total high school. In terms of athletics, Valpo actually varies pretty greatly, with some sports being a 3A, others being 4, and the football program being a 5A program. Not to confuse you even more, but all of the other corporations that I mentioned previously have one singular elementary school and one middle school that feed into their high school. The Valparaiso School Corporation is more spread out across the city, plus there are so many more kids enrolled. So we have eight elementary schools and two middle schools, being Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin, that eventually feed into the high school. Each of these elementary schools offers something different and unique, so you'll wanna do some personal research to figure out which one is best for you. Knowing that they're all really wonderful, the neighborhood that you desire to live in will likely play a part in what elementary school your children end up attending. And finally, the reason why our awesome schools matter to everyone, school performance and rankings directly impact home values. Since our schools are so awesome, our home values have shot through the roof and are outpacing the average national increases throughout the country. So even if you do not have kids attending Valpo schools, the school's performance has a direct tie to your equity. It's one of the key indicators of a thriving community and Valpo is definitely thriving. Now that you're on the move in Velpo, you may be thinking about getting your home prepped, listed, and sold. Watch out for next month's video series where I'll walk you through my top tips on getting your home ready to sell. If you have any questions on buying or selling in Northwest Indiana or Valparaiso specifically, don't hesitate to reach out.